everybody. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you say. It's the Nathan343. It is December. We've got another package from Sheds that we're going to show you guys. I'm kind of unsure what's in this package. I think I know, but we will see. It may not be exactly what I thought it was, but we'll see. So, this is something really cool, really sweet as everything from Sheds is. If you're looking for something for a DJ, for a band member, for someone that likes to tinker with this for a man cave or for uh, you know a wedding venue, somebody that's looking for something for a wedding venue, these make great gifts. This kind of looks like what it might be, but it might be something else. So let's find out because I don't even know what's in it. So let's go ahead and cut this dude open. I'm, let's dive into this right now. This video is made possible by 343 Studios. Alright, so it is taped in several different ways. It is taped here, it is taped here. This is a top piece. So it looks like there's two boxes maybe into one. Actually, really got some weight to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Oh, so this is different than what I thought we were getting. Hmm. Okay. 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 So. This is Shed's S4 Mini. I was supposed to be getting an S4 Mini, but this is the exact same size as the other one. So this is not a Mini. This is a regular. So I guess she sent me a couple different ones. I guess they do have the S4 Minis on, or S4s basically. So that's kind of cool. S4 versus, um, this is the standard S4. I thought this was a S4 Mini, but okay, cool. They must not have had any S4 Mini, so she sent me these. Basically the same housing as the S6, and we're gonna go ahead and get the S6 uh, in here so you guys can check it out. Yeah, this is the S, this is the four by 12. This is not hex color, apparently. Let's see if it has hex coloring. This only says it's our green, red, green, blue, white. There's only 15 colors. So we have red, green, blue, white. Yeah, so they don't have these in hex colors. These are just red, green, blue, white, and color mixing. So that's the only thing that sucks. These will probably not pair up with the S6s because the S6s are hex colored. Um, so that I don't like. Um, kind of a purple, so this doesn't have UV, only has a few colors. And we'll, so we got red, green, blue, white, and then those. So I don't like that, that it's not hex color. Power cons, and then you get the light, and then you get a remote, which the remotes, I think, are the same ones that Rockville even sends out, because all this stuff I'm pretty sure is made in the exact same warehouse. Um, they just put their names on it. I don't even know if this has a Sheds logo on it. Yeah, this doesn't have any Sheds logo. This might be cool to use for truss warming, you know, and then use the other ones, you know, for solid um, colors. Sheds, if you're watching, it would be a good idea so that these would pair up with other units, other S4s from other companies. Make these hex colored. Um, all right, so they're already set, and they are all the, the same uh, color. So you have S6s or S4s, or you just run run all S4s. Now I know the S4 puts off a different uh, pattern than the S6s does, and we're gonna try that on a wall here and see if you guys can tell the difference. So let me go ahead. These are fully charged. Okay guys, so we got these here on one of my walls here. And there is a difference. So S6 is over here and the S4 is right here. 
I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but this is a more kind of a narrower beam. Uh, it, it's more intense as it is a narrow beam, but it also, when the higher up it goes, the dimmer it gets. It's not, so, and I have these set on white, just solid white. Now the S6 has a more wider beam. It goes from basically here to here, but it doesn't lose any in, uh, integrity or any uh, intensity from the light to the ceiling. And I have close to 20 foot tall ceilings in here. So, uh, now it could be that this is being blocked by this picture here. I'll go ahead and switch them here in a minute to see if that is the difference. Um, but from what I can tell, I mean, the lights basically match. They look identical. The housings are identical. Nothing wrongs there. The only thing different is the color. You do not get amber and you do not get UV with this light, which means UV pulls a lot of power. So it means this battery life is going to last longer. Uh, that is a good plus that the battery life will last longer. There's not a whole lot of people that use UV. Um, I mean, other than for strobe light, maybe a black light effect. I don't really see a lot of people using UV in their up lighting because it doesn't shoot as high. Uh, at least I haven't been able to get these UV lights to shine very high. You get maybe a light this high or somewhere around in there, maybe a little higher. But to get one to go all the way up, now you have bigger diodes versus smaller diodes. It's the same size. These will fit in a S6, S4 charge case, and I'll show you that. They will fit in my uh, S6 charge case, so they're the exact same size. Um, I will probably uh, be getting another charge case with uh, more lights uh, and all that. Uh, but, I mean, they're, they're okay. Now, if you have some of the sheds, or both lighting. I'm gonna get one of the both lighting ones here and see if that causes any problems, but they're both shed, so they're both the same company. So right now I can run through the lights and I'm gonna show you what lights actually sync up together in these lights. So S6 versus the S4. I am gonna go ahead and switch them real quick. The S4 is the um, is basically the master right now. Uh, the S4, as you can see, maybe they're a little bit better. The beam of light, it does, again, lose integrity. It is shooting the ceiling. It is just a tad bit. Uh, no, I mean, it's you really can't notice it unless you stare at it for a little while, that there is a difference in lighting intensity. It's only because there is two less diodes in there. Obviously, less diodes, less brightness. They are bigger diodes, but I mean, it's not noticeable to the naked eye really, unless you really, really care. You have like a light intensity reader that's gonna tell you this one. It's gonna tell you this one is technically brighter. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and run through the two and show you what the different lights will do, being one being hex and one being um, just RGBW. So we're gonna go ahead and use the S4 to talk to the S6, and then we'll use the S6 to talk to the S4. So here's the lighting combinations you can get out of an S4 and an S6 versus the hex and non-hex. So let's get to it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this into color. All right, so we get red. That for some reason is not changing. Green, no problems there. They are the exact same green. Again, you can see a little bit of difference in the pattern. The S4 has a smaller intensity, which does look good. I will say that smaller beam does look better. Uh, DJ Rick Webb will tell you that too. He likes the S4s. We've got blue, no problem there. We got white. Normally this is where the S6 would kick in the amber and then the UV. So we're at five and we're at kind of a yellow. They do match up. Got kind of a light pink. You got a turquoise. You've got kind of a whatever you call that, kind of a greenish white. A darker purple. Okay, cool. We did use this color for the Halloween uh, wedding we did. You 
You've got kind of, I call this a peppermint slash uh, pistachio pudding kind of color green. That's what it reminds me of is pistachio pudding. You've got a whitish blue. You've got that color. Again, I'm controlling the S6 with the S4, wireless DMX. You've got a light pink. You've got a lighter blue. Then you've got pretty much probably every color that you can think of mixed together in 15. And then we go back to red. Okay, now we're gonna flip it. I'm going to change this to DMX one. Okay. And this one is going to talk to the S4 now. And I'll show you the differences in there. I got one other thing I want to check with you too. So we're going to put this to that. Color set. Static. Okay. All right. So we are going to run this. Whoops. All right. We are on one again. We're going to go back through everything. So there's one, two, red, green, blue, white. Everything works there. Now this is where the amber and UV kicks in. As you can notice, the S6 here stayed on with this dark amber. The S4 shut off due to it doesn't have that coloring. Again, there's your UV. You can see not really, I mean, it's intensity down here. But the further up you go, it isn't really intense. So not having that that UV isn't going to really make or break the deal. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. So again, UV. Then we go into seven. That one matches up. Eight, nine, ten. Uh, this one here is an orange. It is color mixed. It is a darker orange compared to this orange. I don't know if you can tell that on camera. This one is a lighter, brighter orange, and that one is a darker orange, but it's, it is orange. So this one matched up. That one matches up. We're on 12, 13, 14. There's 15, 16. 17, here we got a little discoloration. This one is a brighter, that one's a darker. We're on 17, that one matches up. 18, 19, so we've got a hot pink here and then that one goes to orange, uh, which is basically blue and red mixed together and then that one just went back to orange because it doesn't have probably the color mixing in that that this has. 20, I'm on this color, it went back to blue, okay, 21. Dark orange, light orange. 22, kind of a, a warm white versus a cool white. Those two match up. Back to blue at 24. 25. 26. Again, warm white versus, or that's 27 versus cool white. There's a few differences in here. There's a, there's a white, but just not as bright on 29. 30. Mixes up, 31 mixes up pretty good, 32, great, and then back down to red. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on a uh, show for you. Not sound because we don't have any sound. We're going to go to, what's this sudden? I'm going to do this for a few minutes. As you can see, it's bright, it's dim. They, they match up pretty good. Now, if you're DMXing these uh, with a controller, you can tell, you know, hey, I'm only using red, green, and blue, okay, and white for my show. I do not have a problem. I can sync these up together and they'll work just perfectly because they both have blue, they both have red, they both have green, they both have white, and they both have some of the good color mixings in them. I will say that. Now, I was thinking on getting the S4s, and in my show, do an S6, S4, S6, S4, S6, S4, so that you get different beams around the room. I think that would look perfect. I don't know if you can see me in the camera, okay, what kind of matches up there and what doesn't. When that one cuts out, that's because that one goes to the colors that that one doesn't have. And who's not to say that that wouldn't look cool in a room? 
having these stay on and having the ones that don't have it kick off. So then the, the every other light will shut off. That would look kind of cool when it gets to that color. If you're doing sound active or an auto show. Um, and then of course sound active, you know, when you get these things going and people dancing, they're not going to really probably be able to tell the difference, especially if you, I'm just going to tap them here so you can't see that they do. Sound three is probably my favorite sound. Sound four is a good one too. I'm on four, it's going, and then they strobe. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so these are my S6 case with charge case. Uh, the charge case came from DJ Rick Webb. Uh, if you haven't done so, go check him out. Awesome guy there. They had some promotions going on. I think they still have promotions going on uh, for the holidays. So go check them out. So you can buy this case. I wanted to show you the S4s will fit just as much as the S6 will. They're all the same size. So what you could do is you could go in here and number these. So you could do like S4. Another S6, S4, S6, and you could put another S4 right here. That way if you had, you know, multiples, and I'll put this S4 in here. So you can see you've already got them set up in there to how you would put them out on the floor. So pretty cool uh, there that they'll fit in this case. They're all the same all size, right, so guys, that's good. So another thing I wanted to say is they, again, they all have the little stand on the bottom if you need to use it to direct the light. Uh, it holds it up pretty good. At different angles. Uh, the light works really good. Uh, the battery so far is still uh, pretty much fully charged. It does have a mount on here so that you could hang these if you wanted. I don't know why you would hang these. These are up lights. Um, you could, I guess, if you're using them for truss warming, you could stick them, you know. And that's a pretty good sized bolt. That's not a little bolt. Is that the only hole it's got? Looks like it. Um, yeah, has a switch on the bottom, both power con in, power con out. Uh, DMX in, DMX out. I don't know why, unless you were using these in a bigger area that the, the signal wouldn't work. I, IR remote, it would be, or IRC. Uh, it would be cool if they'd make these where they're not line of sight with the uh, IRF or whatever it's called. Uh, but yeah, they're nice. They, they match up good. Again, they have the kind of shinier finish. Four, four diodes instead of uh, six, um, they, they match up really well. I will be turning this housing here around so that it faces here, projects the light up against the wall uh, better and kind of keeps it from going out into the crowd where you don't want to blind people. A lot of people think it looks brighter. Well, it does look brighter with the, the open this way because it shoots the light out that way. You want the light to go up against the wall. Uh, that's why it's called an up light or a down light. See if you want to use this for a down light too, you could very well use that. You could hang this up on a uh, end and as you can see even shooting light down on the end coming down the wall. You could very well mount these. You could leave it plugged in if you wanted probably and, and, and leave these up in a venue if you wanted. But Thanks Ava for sending these over. Stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully we've got uh, some really cool stuff coming from Sheds. I'm um, hoping for some cold sparks to show you guys because uh, I've been interested in some of those and I kind of want to show you guys um, how the cold sparks uh, from sheds work. Uh, I think there was a problem. I think they're maybe out of stock or something. So they sent these over instead. Uh, but hopefully soon, maybe either later this month or in January, we'll be showing you cold sparks. Hopefully. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button. Make sure that uh, you hit the like button. Go check out all the other videos, all the channels. DJ Mike James, Nathan343, uh, New Horizon Lawn Care. We are at 260 subscribers on there. Thank you guys so much. Uh, go check out DJ Fire. Got some cool videos that are in the making right now. To hit 3,000 subscribers here on this channel, we're less than 20 away from that at the time of this recording. So uh, if, you, if you like the video and like what you're seeing and you like the vlogs that I do, uh, you know, I'm going to continue doing seasonal vlogs. Uh, vlogs, you know, we've, we've got season one. We're into season two vlogs now. I kind of do a weekend thing. I do product reviews in the week. And if I have anything going on, I'll do a product uh, or a vlog basically on the, um, on the weekend. So, again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the other links. Check out Sheds. Link of this. Well, 
I'll see if I can find a link because I didn't see this on their uh, deal, but there might be a drop down link on the S6s where you could choose S6 or S4. That might be something they've done, kind of change that up. So thanks for watching. Check them out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, 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 oh. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Forgot one thing. You can run these lights off of a phone through an app. If you don't want to run DMX, you can totally use these on a phone, which is cool. I forgot to mention that. There's a code here you scan. It'll take you right to the code. You probably set these to, I think, Wi-Fi, basically, on the, con on the programming, and they will allow you to control it with your phone. So you control your shows with your phone, and, and I think they all do that. The sheds, the both, all those will do that. Again, it comes with your instructional booklet on how to do that. And check them out. Thanks for watching. Now, we'll see you in the next one.